He says with prep time, Batman defeats Black Panther, but in a random encounter... Look, I am genuinely not trying to piss off either fandom here, but can we stop with this conversation? There has been a concentrated effort on Marvel's part to make Black Panther a better, better Batman than Batman. And there were a few different notes that were hit upon over the years to lead to that point. But if you really want to dive into where it first started happening, jump into Civil War when he took over for Reed and, and Sue and the Fantastic Four. But there's something that people don't seem to talk about when they go into these two characters. Black Panther is an amazing character, and if anybody thinks that I dislike him or am a Black Panther hater, they have not watched my content. I've collected him for years, I have the comics where he took over for Fantastic Four, and I've got comics before that leading up to it, some of his older stuff. I am a Black Panther fan, but the fact of the matter is, this guy has a suit that's nearly indestructible. He has all of his ancestors lending him knowledge. He has an entire nation of people backing him. If he were to lose at any point to a rich guy in a bat suit, that's kind of sad. And as for Bruce, he does every amazing thing that he is able to do within the comics while being a rich guy in a bat suit. He's not a superhuman. He does not have an indestructible suit. And while he is, most of the time, very rich, he is not, I own an intergalactic nation rich. And Marvel has propelled Black Panther in ways that would not work for Batman. Even taking on some of Batman's stories for Black Panther himself. If you know, you, you know. But the fact of the matter is, this man right here sells more comics than any other comic book character except for maybe Spider-Man. And it's his flaws that sell those comics. If Batman were to eradicate all of his villains and Gotham were to be fixed and he had some amazing suit that couldn't be hurt and he had all these extra little things and he could just never lose, he wouldn't be as interesting as he is. His flaws are what make him a great character. The fact that he doesn't trust people and he closes himself up make it all the better when he opens up to his adopted sons and his actual son. When you see him interacting with Clark and Diana and he, he gets to show a side of himself that he doesn't normally let himself access. When he dips in and out of trying to be with Selena, you get to feel the pain of somebody who doesn't know how to interact well with people. And that's not everybody's cup of tea. There are a lot of people that are like, oh, just stop whining and, and, and wipe your eyes with your money. But for the majority of people that enjoy reading complex, good stories, Batman has those in spades. And that's evidenced by the fact that if you read his current comic, his own people turn on him and he basically gets knocked down to the slums of Wakanda to try to scratch his way back up. That's by design. There's a reason why they're doing that. And I can give you a few guesses as to what the model is. So if you guys want to talk about a fist fight between these two again, hey, you're wrap your time, like I always say. But they're not the same character. And Batman will always be the GOAT for the reason that Batman is the GOAT. And Black Panther will always be the GOAT for the reason that Black Panther is the GOAT. But sometimes I wonder if Batman fans truly appreciate what makes Batman great. It isn't, I always win, I'm Batman. It's the fact that he is flawed, yet he still keeps going. He still tries to do the best that he can. That's what makes Batman amazing, and that's what people should be talking about. But hey, just my opinion. What do you guys think? Hope everybody's well. See you around.